Today we are reading a book called Mother Bruce by Ryan Higgins. This one has lots of cool pictures in it. Bruce was a bear who lived all by himself. He was a grump. He did not like sunny days. He did not like rain. And he did not like cute little animals. Bruce only liked one thing, eggs. He collected them from all over the forest. Good morning, Mrs. Sparrow. You see the little basket of eggs down there? Instead, he cooked them into fancy recipes that he found on the internet. One day, Bruce came across a recipe for hard-boiled goose eggs drizzled with honey salmon sauce. Whoops, where are we at? So he went to get the ingredients. First, he caught a few salmon. Then he collected honey from a local beehive. He liked to support local businesses, you see. Last, he went to Mrs. Goose's nest and paid her a visit. Are these range-free eggs? I'm sorry, are these eggs range-free organic? At home, Bruce prepared the eggs for hard boiling. but the fire in his stove fizzled, so he went out to get some more wood. When Bruce came back, he was met with an unwelcome surprise. What could it be? Mama! Bruce was the victim of a case of mistaken identity. Bruce wanted hard boiled eggs, not goslings. He supposed he could settle for buttered goslings on toast, but for some reason he lost his appetite. Bruce scooped up the little gut geese eggs and stomped back to their nest. I will have to ask Mrs. Goose about her return policy, only to find that Mrs. Goose had flown south early. Her little note says, be back in April, Mother Goose. Bruce left the goslings there anyway and went back home. <gasps> but he was followed. Mama, Mama! Bruce was very stern. And he said things like, go away, and I'm not your mother, and also, I liked you better when you were eggs.
Bruce could take it no longer, and he became extra grumpy with them. Rawr. It didn't work. Goslings always follow their mother, even if she is a he and he is a bear. Down here, they say, Mama? Mama? And they followed him home. You see how they're walking just like him? Bruce was stuck with them. He tried to make the best of it. It was hard work. Here's some more of the hard work he had to deal with. As the seasons passed, Bruce watched the pesky goslings grow older. They started off as annoying baby geese. and then became stubborn teenage geese, and finally boring adult geese. Then one afternoon, he saw all the other goose families flying, flying south. Finally, he'd be rid of these geese so that he could take a long winter nap. Bruce explained migration. But they didn't listen. Bruce needed the geese to leave, so he got creative. Nothing worked. The geese would not leave Bruce. Sigh. So Bruce decided to pack some bags and take the geese into town. They boarded a bus. And migrated to Miami. Now every winter, Bruce and his geese head south together. They laze about at the beach in tacky shirts, sipping ice cold lemonade while Bruce dreams of new recipes. Recipes that don't hatch. Uh oh.
the end. Talk to you later.